Hey, Bengt. Hi. My wife, Sophie, is Swedish. Marianne. And in Sweden, yeah. they are masters of making the house nice and cozy when it comes to winter time. It's known as Higge in Scandinavian. So over the years, as Sophie has continued to up her game with Higge and coziness, I have had to up my game when it comes to the comfort food. And I'm going to go out there and say this is my ultimate shepherd's pie because it is next level game changing. It is velvet mash, it is slow braised lamb shanks, and it is the perfect match for all that coziness. Now, lamb shanks, they are the secret ingredient to making a super over-the-top shepherd's pie. If you've made the traditional one, this is next leveling it. This is comfort food brought big. We're gonna start off by braising our lamb shanks. And all I'm looking for is creating a really rich color that's gonna be the basis of great flavor in this lamb shank stew. Good seasoning of salt and pepper over the lamb shanks. I would suggest you do this in batches so that you ensure you get that browning color. If you put too much meat in the pot, it's just gonna stew and you will not get the color you're after. It is worth taking your time at this point because that lovely rich brown color does not come without a bit of love and a bit of time in the pan, ensuring that you get it. Take it out and we're gonna transfer it to a plate. We're gonna do exactly the same with the other two lamb shanks. Now, while these are browning off beautifully, uh, I want to chop up some veggies. So I've got two onions and I've got two carrots. Flavor-wise, this shepherd's pie is all about simplicity. There's not a whole heap of ingredients here, but you're allowing the meat to really come through by just adding those base flavors of carrots and onions, and you need no more. Let's get chopping. You do have to keep an eye on your meat to make sure that it hasn't browned off too much. But look at that. Really, really gorgeous, sizzling lamb shanks. Really the great flavor you get here is from all those beautiful meat juices in the bottom. So let's get our veggies in. Give it a good stir up just to kind of loosen those juices off the base of the pan. Okay, this is looking good. Last bit of aromatics or fresh ingredients is some garlic. So I've got three cloves in here. This is the moment where you know you're off to the races. The lamb's browned off, the carrots and the onions are tender and they've taken on that flavor. So now it's time to get in there with even more flavor. And it comes in the form of some tomato puree. One great store covered ingredient I always like to use is a dollop of ketchup. You can't go wrong. It's sweetness, it's sourness, and it's this kind of little sweet bite that will make you just wonder what that extra layer of flavor is. And speaking of store cupboard staples, another one that is great in here and kind of works well with lamb to add a bit of meaty richness is a good glug of Worcestershire sauce. So we can get in there with some aromatics. Got a few sprigs of thyme. We've got the base flavors going on here, so it's time to get in there with some stock. And now it's a case of getting our lamb shanks back in and bringing this up to temperature. This is now gonna cook for about two to three hours. Watch it, keep an eye on it, give it a stir every now and then, but at the end of it, what you're looking for is that meat to be falling off the bone.